Right, in this video, um, we're looking at a hammer-on solo. Basically, I'm going to go through just um, a repetitive idea in some different positions. And then you can have a go at playing that solo or just improvise ideas from this basis. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to hammer on from the third fret to the fifth fret of the top E string, obviously the thinnest one. And then we're going to play some vibrato on that, so. And what we're doing there, we're hammering on from that G note to the A, and this is in A minor, uh, this whole song or piece. So we're hitting the one, the root of the one. Okay, and then after that, playing it twice, we then hammer on from the first fret to the third fret on the B string, from the C to the D note. So because we're hitting the D there, um, we're hitting the four of A. So we've got this. Then we go back to our first pattern. Then we return to the B string, but we're going to play from the third fret to the fifth fret, and that's using fingers one and three. And what we're doing there, we're ending up on the E note, which is the five of um, A, the one, four, five of the A blues. And then we come down to the D, which is on the third fret of the B string back to our first shape and then you can always finish off by going back to the B string on the third and to the fifth fret. It's very simple as you can see so basically it's like one two three four doing there is uh, very simply hammering on to the one, four and fifth notes of the blues. So that's fairly straightforward. And what we're going to do is going to repeat that in different places. So if we thought up here uh, that we've got an A note on the seventh fret of the D string. So if we play from five to seven, first finger, third finger. So we've got the same start again, but in a different place on the fretboard. And then underneath, we've got the C to the D, as in our first position. Back to the beginning. But then when we go up to the fifth degree, or the fifth note, the E, we come back towards us once more and play along the A string five and seven, then jump over, five to seven on the G string, which is the C to, G, uh, C to D, back to the D string, five to seven, which is the, um, that is the G to A, then we can always come back to the fifth fret of the A string to end up on the E note. So if I play through this very slowly, uh, you'll see how easy it is. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's us going through that sequence yet again. Now, we can do that same thing up here a bit further. You can do it all over the place actually, but uh, on the video I do it here as well. 
which is on the B string, second from the top string, using fingers one and three again, we go from the eighth to the tenth fret. And we're hitting the A note there, the one again. And then we need to get to the four chord, which is the D as we know it, and that falls here underneath, tenth fret, top string. So we come from the eighth to the tenth, using our same fingering. Then we go back to the one, and then we shift up on the top string to go from 10 to 12. That's the E, the five. We take that down to the eight, to the 10, to the four note, and then back to the B string, eight to 10 on the one. And we can always take it back up to the five, the E there. So this time it's like this, two, three, four. And apart from one other little bit that comes in, uh, that's basically it. That is the really uh, gist of it all. Um, it's a very, very basic idea. But as I, as you can see, um, when I um, improvise towards the end and uh, you watch as little or as much of that as you want, it's nice to base um, an improvised solo around hammer on ideas. Um, it's, it's very good practice. But in the song, not song, I keep calling it a song, just in the piece, um, we go to like the um, um, turn round section um, as such. Uh, and all I do there, anything like that will do just to fill it in. And I'm just hammering on from the five to the seventh fret on the G string, which is the D, because that's where the uh, rhythm chord, uh, rhythm uh, track goes, it goes to the, the D, so. We'll pick out the other notes, or oh, put a bit of improvisation into it. Um, over that uh, section. Okay, very simple idea, um, but um, hopefully you should get a lot uh, out of that this week. It's all around A minor pentatonic so if you just want to pick out your notes, um, have a nice fretboard uh, diagram printed out with all your notes, you can uh, play them wherever you want, wherever you want to find them. Uh, they're, you know, they're all over the place. Hope you enjoyed this uh, week's uh, little effort. Um, I'll see you again soon. Hope you'll keep well. <laughs>